In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my super easy one light setup for creating amazing dark and moody food photography. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to That Sage, where we learn about food photography so you can create the meaningful, creative career you want. Dark and moody food photography is a great technique for adding character and intrigue to your photos. It's become a really popular artistic technique in the last few years, and it stems from a Renaissance technique called chiaroscuro, where chia means light and scuro means dark. The key to amazing food photography using the dark and moody style is to really accentuate the contrast between the lights and the darks. It's where the light meets the dark that the magic happens and this contrast is what's gonna add that beautiful character to your photos. So even though we're talking about dark food photography, we don't want it to be too dark because if our whole photo is too dark, it's gonna look really flat and boring. So I'm gonna be using dark colored backgrounds and props. And this is because I don't want anything in my scene to be bouncing too much light around. I really wanna be completely in control of my light source. So by using dark backgrounds and props, it allows them to absorb most of the light, focusing on the texture, but not creating a scene that's too bright. The key to creating great dark and moody food photography is how we modify the light. So what we're gonna be doing today is looking at how you can use some simple black fill card to create a really directional light which really adds that dark and moody vibe to your scene. It's a great technique for food with a lot of texture such as breads and doughs or apples with lots of texture on their skin. So today I'm gonna to show you my easy one light setup, so let's jump right in. So what we're gonna be doing today is looking at how you can use some simple black fill card to create a really directional light which really adds that dark and moody vibe to your scene. So I'm gonna walk you through my simple dark food photography lighting setup. You can use either natural or artificial light for this. Personally, I like using artificial light, but natural light would work in exactly the same way. So whatever your preference is, just use that. Using a large soft box with diffused light allows your light to be really soft and diffused, which is gonna create those beautiful gentle shadows that you get with dark and moody food photography. You could add a honeycomb grid to your soft box if you want the light to be a little bit more directional and contrasty. But again, it's really up to you depending on what kind of look that you're going for. For this setup, we're just gonna be using one light source and a few pieces of black foam core to manipulate the light. So let's jump in and have a look at how we're gonna do that. The first thing that we're gonna do is place a piece of black foam core directly opposite the light source. So in this scene, I'm lighting from the side. So I'm gonna position my card directly opposite the light source, which is gonna stop too much light bouncing back into the scene, giving me those really nice deep shadows on the opposite side. Next, I'm gonna be using two more pieces of black foam core to screen off quite a large portion of the light source itself. So I'm gonna position one piece behind my subject and one piece in front, creating this small strip of light, which is really directionally allowing the light to fall just on the main subject, keeping the rest of the scene around it quite dark. So whatever your main subject is, you can use these pieces of black foam core to decide exactly where in the scene you want your light to fall. This is gonna give you a really natural, dark and moody look, allowing you to draw attention to your subject and keep everything else really out of focus. You can totally adapt this setup to fit whatever kind of photo you're shooting. So in this example of this top-down photo of this kale, I screened off the light in a really similar way in order to create that direction and really highlight those little leaves in the middle. And if you wanna add that extra special touch to your dark and moody food photography, something that I love to use is the radial filter in Lightroom. So what the radial filter does is it allows you to create a custom circle or oval or shape around your subject and then darken the area around it. It's a really great way to get a really specific vignette. So if you wanna learn more about the radial filter and see a full demo of this, then check out my three Lightroom hacks for food photography video and I will see you next time. 